I'm so, in a water gauge scandal. That lightning bolt brought to you by Rage Shop. <laughs> <laughs> so, you all managed to sleep peacefully through the night. You're still in fear bowl territory. And they've been keeping it nice and safe. So it appears they've missed a the spider. Yeah, well, I mean, you can't really be that mad at them for it. Well, oh, yeah, how big was it? I am. I mean, it was easily twice your size. Oh! Giant spider. Yeah, okay! Yeah, 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 yeah. But I just wanted to know how big it was. Oh, twice size? Like the size of a fucking car. Yeah. Oh my goodness. That's a large fire. Yes, it is. That's not even creepy crawly at that point. It's creepy stompy. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Anywho. You're able to actually make some pretty good time. Woo! Yay! Most things seem to be... Either not present in this current area, probably because of the the spider problem. Uh huh. Come on, shitty roll, shitty roll. Okay. Or, roll. or maybe even not go with you. Perhaps preoccupied with other things. So good time is good time, and I won't complain about that. And you find, presumably, what the fear bolts had been talking about. The barrier. Mm, it's a wall. Oh, like a physical wall. It's a physical stone wall. And we couldn't get past it? Oh, there's no gate. It is... Actually, you, you actually don't know how high the wall is. So how you can't see over it? Yeah. What the fuck? Who has a shovel? Like, it I appears do. to just go up. I do. Oh. Well, we could attempt to fly over it. Or we could, uh, yeah, how, you would have, you can use your breath up as much as you want. It's on a cool down. I have to roll a 6 on a D6, though. Uh, D6 on a D6, I have to roll a 6. Well, so, it would take a long time, you could get the milk on the way through. Well, or we could dig. Or we could fly. Uh, Let's test that melt theory. I mean, stone is stone. Acid is acid. Acid is Might stone. Might be magic stone. Oh, true. <laughs> Do we have to check magic? No, but we have spit acid. <laughs> so, you turn to the black dragon. Yes, I will turn. I will change to black dragon and spit acid. Uh, the acid collides with the stone wall and just slides down. It kills a nice ring of grass around where it, around where it landed on the wall, but the wall is untouched. Well, you do have that shovel. I do have that shovel. Let's try flying over for a spell. I just used that shovel. No. Is that working soon? Mm. You have passive water. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Well, I have to pass well. You know what? No. You know what? Stone is an object. I'm going to try auto critting it. Wall is an amazing spell. Uh-huh. All right, I'm gonna hit the wall with my sword. You're going to hit the wall. With one. Uh, so you're gonna hit the you're gonna hit a wall with your sword. Yeah, I'm gonna hit the wall with my. I missed. I'm gonna hit the wall with my sword. Stop. Stop. Obviously, the answer is a mortal sword. So you so you take your I'm sword. Sure I'm attempting right? to I'm attempting to hit the wall. So I I did grit there. Two hands. Two hands. So you take so you take the sword in two hands. And much like one would with a baseball bat or maybe a wood cutting axe. Yeah. You take a nice wide swing. It is one of the best swings you've ever made with this sword, Mm -hmm. since you know you're old twenty. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Stop. Stop. Thank you. Not not even a scratch. Alright, we're going over. Yeah, I was just making sure. Okay, thanks. so you cast fly on here. Yes. Yeah. Using my uh, magic instrument, I can cast fly once again. Correct. Actually, in this case, since we just need to go over, I'll cast levitate instead. So I can wait for later. Okay, levitate. well. Uh, understand that levitate just makes her hover and doesn't actually give her any means of propulsion. 
Yeah, but we, we, we go right next to the wall. We go up. Oh, it just drags herself along the wall. Yeah, see. Is it in a oh, sheer isn't it, wall? Isn't it, isn't it by the cave you can go up and down and you can't go forward back or left right? I don't, I don't think so. Cover in place. I think whatever takes just makes you cover in place. I don't think I you can control your... I thought that you go up and down and just couldn't... <clears throat> well, even if it didn't, again, if we're right next to the wall, she could just pull herself up. The target can move only by pushing or pulling against the fixed object or surface within reach. This is a wall or ceiling uh, which allows you to move as you are climbing. You can change the target's altitude up to 20 feet in either direction on your turn. Oh, and so it you has a 500 pound weight limit, which I think I, I think all three of you would, would Yeah, all three of you would see that. Damn. Alright, well, we're going to fly then. Well, I weigh a hundred oh, and fifty. Don't think this is going to work. Our other option is shoveling. Actually, no. There's one more option. We can try going around. <laughs> or shuffle. The, 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 the wall. The wall extends up for about as far as you can see. However, it has a very clear start and end to either side of it. Oh well, we should have said that. Thought I did. Okay. No. Well, we will go okay. around. We'll go left. 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 So left sounds good. You go to the left of the wall. Of the wall. And all of a sudden, as we, we take a couple steps, and we feel a rumbling. No! <laughs> 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 well, that would be that would be easy to do. We just split the party. <laughs> So you walk the wall breaks in the middle. And you, no. walk, you walk around uh, the corner to the left, and you are met with more wall as it goes but, but it's, as it goes off uh, yeah. forward. Yeah, you, you go around the corner um, about midway down uh, down this side of the wall is what is clearly meant to be a gate. However, it is sealed with more stone, like it's an archway, right? That kind of that kind of brick lane design. But it is just sealed up with more of the brick bricking that the wall is made up of. So we can't get in there. Above it is a placard or a sign or some kind. Yeah. With writing. And right in front of and at the base is a clay tablet with a stylus. What does the writer sign say? The sign asks a simple question. How much dirt? is in a hole that is five feet wide, three feet long, and two feet deep. Zero. There's no dirt, it's a hole. <laughs> There's no dirt, Very it's a hole. <laughs> uh, the bricking within the archway fades away. Huh. Or being mad about it. <laughs> it's a hole. And that's what I was hoping for. <laughs> And, you, and oh. you enter the garden. The problem with doing math is we didn't give any units to dirt. How much is eight dirt? So. Well, one dirt block is one meter by one meter by one meter. No. <laughs> Stop. Okay. Uh, much like the forest outside, the, the canopy, again, the, there are more of these trees. Uh, in this space, however, there are quite a bit, there aren't very many of them. Uh, the wall on this side does not appear to go as high. It is a solid 15-foot uh, high wall. And the trees form a nice canopy, meaning that it's pretty normal light around in this area. Actually, it's a little darker. The yeah, light... There's a fountain. Yeah, there's a fountain. Uh, and the night and some nice stone, some nice pretty stone ivy covered walls uh, around the edge of this space. You toss the coin to the fountain. You toss the coin to the fountain. Nothing happens. I toss the coin to my wishes. Right. There's Thanks. no one. <laughs> James gives me a one gold coin. Thank you. Get <laughs> that coin in there for good luck. If we have bad luck. Uh, the walls that you can see that are past these stone ones 
uh, is all hedge. Hedge me. The hedge? The plant? Do you actually? No. No. Okay. Oh, but Shane is. This this forest area is contained by the walls. Yeah. And the fire went straight out of it. Boiling street. That's not though. Look. At least not right away. Look. When we discovered there's nothing but spiders in there, then you can Alright. What's left? Uh, left is actually just an empty room. There are small plots that are uh, separated with string that are growing various herbs, berries, uh, small like gardening plants, that kind of thing. They're all labeled, uh, so you can see thyme and uh, saffron and uh, blue blueberries, raspberries. They're all they're easily identified. Well, someone lives here. Someone's powerful. Someone who knows how to garden. I do see them time and time again. I'm gonna smack you. What? Do it. Do it. Very timeless fun. You're right. I don't, I don't have a good angle. I have a good angle. So, I'll bite you. And you will get raised. You don't have Probably. raised. You're right. You don't have well, this is an empty, this is an empty room. Okay, well there's two ways to go from here. I still think we should have gone four ways, but let's go. Where are we going here? We're taking a leap. This way. That way. I can see a little, a little pathway here and maybe another room. Good. What's, okay. What's home? What's, what's, what's in this room? Is it empty? Uh, it's... He looks empty. <laughs> oh, I hate you. <laughs> <laughs> I need to have this ready anyway. <laughs> it looks pretty empty to me. Mm. Well, depending on the depending on the stealth character. Mm. I, I don't even know if rolling below your uh, your passive perception is even. A thing you need to worry about. How does passive perception work? Passive perception is basically whatever you would be able to see and notice just by entering a space. I think mine might be broken because it says I have 26. It is, yeah. it's 10 plus whatever your wisdom modifier is. It could be that high, I don't know why it's 26. Wait, wait, wait. wait. 10 plus the wisdom modifier. Well, isn't it plus perception? Yeah, it's plus perception. Well, I mean, if you don't have proficiency in perception, then it would be whatever the wisdom modifier is. Correct. Which means you get, uh, you double your proficiency bonus. No, that's expertise. You add your half your proficiency bonus or whatever. Yep. So you have plus one to all skills. Yep. That's what I have. Mm. So in perception, I have four. All right, well, fine. I plus two. Nothing about the room screen to take a look at me. So. Yeah, I rolled a, I rolled a two. I also thought empty room and I was going to walk down with it. Yeah, I also thought empty room. This one I just want that monster sort of thing. What the fuck? Here comes the monster. You see a nice little back view with an angel. I'm in his face. Uh oh. And I blinked. We're dead. We're all dead because I blinked. No, it's plus perception. It's perception. If your passive perception is 10, plus your perception. So I have 14. Close. Yeah, I'm going to do it. Close. I'm going to roll. There's this thing. Close. No. Well, I roll. Well, all, all of your, I should, all of your, yeah, all of your passive perceptions I can see uh, on your token. Uh, this one does not have stealth as a skill, so. Let's see how this goes. Uh, 
how this goes. It's a worm. What's all this guy, eh? Worm sign. As you enter this space, you are all alerted to this to a light growling. Like a low growl. Cat like. Cat like. Bender. No, wait, what is the voice? I, uh. Look. I get out of the mountain lions. When you all okay. look up into the tree that is kind of hanging over the head. You know what I do? You know what I do? I'm What's gonna, that? I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna push Seamus fucking. Uh-huh. <laughs> so we look up and you see. You look up and you do see a cat like form sitting in one of the lower branches of that tree. Uh it is jet black in its fur color. Uh so it looks like a large black cat. Hmm? However, as it begins to move and stand, the things that make it not a large black panther uh, immediately become evident as two more sets of legs oh. can be seen and from its back long tentacles ending in spiked clubs. What the fuck, Richard? Blink dog and a it hops down phase cat? It hops down from the tree and readies to attack. Everyone's seen it, so uh, yeah, it, let me get let me get the initiative. Is it a phase cat? That is not what it's called. You're gonna have to give me. Displacer beast. You're gonna have to give me uh, an Arcana check. In order for Orient to actually recognize it. Nineteen. You re- you do indeed recognize it as a displacer beast. Displacer beasts. Elves are more in tune with the with the Fey Wild than most. You've heard tell of the vicious hunters that displacer beasts displacer beasts are. A little dangerous, not gonna lie. They can displace transformed. Without my car, I mean sword. Hey. It goes first, right? No, it does not. Oh, nice. Yeah. Maybe it does. No, the second. Correct, the second. Me. Well. Oh, is it large? It is large. It's big. Um. <laughs> what should I do? Kill it. Fairy fire. Ooh. So you cast fairy fire. Can you give me a an area in which that effect is effective? Each object in a twenty foot cube. Alright, so this whole space, what color is your fairy fire? Mm, gold. Gold. That whole space is now covered in a just a light falling golden dust. It settles on the back of the displacer beast and easily lights it up. Attacks against the displacer beast. Admitted, it can't be invisible. It, it would make you you recognize that this is clearly giving you an advantage, 
from what you know about Displacer Beasts, but uh, you know that they are under an effect that causes them to appear in a slightly different spot than where they actually are. Not invisibility. But it lights up everything. It does each, each individual object. You are correct, which means you've canceled out the disadvantage that everyone would have regardless. So you've turned what is a disadvantageous role into a standard role. I know. Yes. And advantage, advantage, always cancel out, cancel back one or more. Yeah, my point is, this is the perfect counter to its natural defense of correct. displacing itself. So you now know which one's the illusion because the real one is outlined in fairy fire even though it's invisible. Well, it stalks forward. And is going to attempt to hit Mira. Hit me. Do it. And chance. Do it now. Oh. Oh. Okay. Oh wait, it doesn't even need to stop forward. The ten foot lashes out. It has a ten foot reach. So it does not hit Mira. Because that is a one. Yeah. Uh but it will hit Seamus. Ouch. Oh no. Seamus, you take a d6 plus 4. Bludging damage. Slap damage. Slugging damage? Oh! Uh, a d- so you take a d6 plus 4 slashing damage. So, if you say and grab, I'm gonna shit myself. So that's. You take 8 slashing damage and 2 piercing damage. Oh, okay. It does bludging and piercing damage. And grab. The slide is on it. They, uh, it, I should really just roll it as 2d6. <laughs> oh, but that's, that's important for things that have bludgeoning resistance but not piercing resistance, yeah, whatever. Good thing you're a tank wizard. Oh. And yeah, it's also, I believe it is also your turn. Good. So it's in my face right now? Uh, no, it's 10 feet away from me. No, that's it's some ambience I have. It should be picking it up there as well. Oh, I don't know. If it's for, if it's capturing from the from roll twenty, it should. We'll no, see. You, you didn't say capture from roll twenty, so it's not capturing from roll twenty. All right, never mind then. Anyway, James, it's your turn. Oh. Yeah. Yeah. So you should have, you should have all your spells. Yeah, we killed the spider camp. Well, this tells me though that uh, whoever this came from probably take a while. It's a fade here. If it's a good fade, this is gonna get pretty crazy. If it's bad fade, oh no. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. Oi! Uh, it's just this thing, so I'm not going to turn it into it. Alright. Ice Knight! Good night to me. It's a deck save. That does not hit, but I do still have to save against the cold damage. He did not save against the cold damage. Ooh, six cold damage. Is that the way Ice Knight works? Yeah. Oh, yeah, he throws it and then it explodes. I see. Yeah. It's icy. I see. Icy, but. Alright, Mira. Hit it. Then you can do that. Okay, for the record, I switched it to I switched to green, so I do yeah. it, I do have the green mask back on. Yeah. Um, but just so you know, the way the fairy fire works is everything that was in there initially. You can go in there and it won't be online. And they can leave that area and it'll still be online. Nice! You know what I'm gonna do though? What? I'm, I'm not gonna breathe that out. I'm not gonna whack it. Let me see here. 
Yep, yep, just, just, just gonna whack it. He's gonna get whacked. Oh shit, I forgot. Where'd you see that? Where'd you see that? Oh, I was reading the description. I copied it right over. It says, each object can point to a cube within range of that line of blue, green, and violet. Oh, I can't do it. Unless you let me. Go ahead. Any creature in the area when the spell is cast is also outlined in light of the tail of the fairy saber. Duration, objects, and effective creatures should have dim light. Oh, if it fails, it's dexterity. Oh, did you never make it through? I did not. Oh, okay. DC 15 is actually a throw. Okay, well, then I'm using reckless no. attack. Okay, good. <laughs> I'm using reckless attack, so do I get advantage? No. Because you've been doing all those disadvantage, advantage fuckery? No, no matter if you have, no matter how much advantage and disadvantage you have, you have what, at least one of each of you. Alright. Okay, then. Does a 13 hit him? Uh, a 13 does. Ooh, just. Oh. Well, that's a number. If you that have that is max damage. And disadvantage. At least one of each. So it doesn't matter how many of each you have, they all just get it. Perfect. Okay. Think of it like Alright. And it's for your back around to Orient's turn. What my my point was you can't stack two two advantages and one disadvantage and end up with advantage. It's just Yeah, you, they all face yeah. each other. Yeah. So, okay, so, well, I have to concentrate on the spell, but that still means I can cast a non-concentration spell, right? Correct. So, vicious mockery. <laughs> wisdom save. Everything that worked like that. Wisdom saves. I have some more problems. God damn it, twos across the board. God, yeah. What the fuck? So that is one damage. Uh, and his next attack, and his next attack has disadvantage, which is now. So he's going to attempt to hit Mira again, and we're going to do it twice. Well, that's that's one roll, one attack with disadvantage. Oh no! But you use reckless attack, so you would have, so it would have advantage against you anyway. But so that, I, so, so it just, just it just roll. comes back down to it's one, just roll. A one roll. <laughs> God damn it! Uh, but you have an AC of twenty, so yes, neither of those hit. Yeah. Uh, Stupid. And we come back I'm to not, Seamus. I'm not even wearing armor. This is the best. My con mod and my charisma mod to my AC and my dex mod, and then it was based off of thirteen instead of ten. Yeah, it's pretty good. Alright. I'm, I'm gonna exclude Hera. Thunder Wave! That is a con save, yes. It is. It's not I don't know why I hate you. I want to be cool. <laughs> well, it's a con save and they take dam they take damage or and are pushed ten feet, right? Probably fine. I don't want to be cool. <laughs> what? Oof! That is a nat twenty on the save. Ooh, he got a nat twenty on the save. I believe he'll still take the damage, though. Correct? He's, he like he takes half damage, right? Uh, thunder wave. Takes then he will take none. The wave does nothing. So now it's Mira's turn. Uh, also, because I meant such a things that are waiting for us to be encountered. Um, the description of the spell does also say that there is a yes, thunderous of course. Storm. No, yeah, absolutely. Now, You're all of China knows you are here. You rung the dinner bell. I'm sorry, but... Actually, why am I sorry? You rang the dinner bell. So here's what we're going to do. We're going to go back to the arc and do Flaming Sphere. We're just going to keep it up. <laughs> well, you can't do that. It's not your turn. It's Mira's turn. 
know what? You know what? You know what? You know what? W H A C K. I missed. That will not hit. <laughs> Amazing ass. And now it's already its turn. Fighting things that have more than seven health. <laughs> It, hit, it actually has less AC than a goblin, but a lot more health. <laughs> yeah, I was like, a 13 hits it. What? Vicious mockery. Did not make it save, so it still has disadvantage and it takes more damage. It is, it is disturbed by your unusual advances. Good. The displacer beast will again hit, attempt to hit Mira. Hit me. Did you did you use reckless attack? Doesn't matter. No. Well, I didn't. Okay. Well, then it does matter because now it has disadvantage. Oh. So it really is not gonna hit. It's really not gonna hit you. An Eighteen doesn't hit you. Well, a sixteen doesn't hit you. A twenty-two will, or a twenty-one will. Sorry. So you will take 2d6 plus 4 damage. It's and, nothing. And you're not raging, yeah. so you don't get to reduce it. You're mean. So you take 11 damage. Oh! And now it's Chambers' turn. Shit, how do you do that? Well, thank you I don't want to do that. That has bad, that is what? bad vibes. I did the math. I just clicked 11 times. Two plus two is five, six. 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 Uh, told it up. Told it All right. One, does he save? Ooh! <laughs> that saves. Yeah, I might even try. That could have been cantrip. Yeah, that was a cantrip, so. <laughs> Mira? The only, the only time I roll well is when I can save and get shivers. Thanks. <laughs> no, I don't. Do you, do you, do you probably don't, no. No, he has more limbs than me. <laughs> Kill it! <coughs> think of it. Hey, 14 damage. 14 damage. Nice. It's turn. Yes, it is. And He's gonna mock him. <laughs> Again with the disadvantage. Should I give someone a bar to give here? Oh, no, I'm doing it. Okay. Well, it's the displacer piece turn. Is it bloody? No. 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 I can give it disadvantage on its save. Or not disadvantage, but I can give it like minus equal to the D6 roll if you want that, Jameis. Yeah, he's gonna try he's gonna try to attack Mira. Yes? No? Okay. Well, I mean he's gonna try to attack me. Well then, hold on, Jameis wants me to use a bar against rage not offensively, so I will. It's a for a save, correct? Yes, I'll roll it. Not an attack roll. Right. I'm gonna roll a D6. Perfect six. Alright, so, on, so. Its, on its next save it'll have minus six. Got it. Mira gets hit once. Ow. Or another. Eight damage. Ow! Stop it! Stop. Okay, I j I've, I've taken a total of 19 damage. I'm gonna need a little bit of healing. Seamus' turn. Give us. Hopefully. Hopefully. Walking minus six. Is it uh, looking kind of bad? No, no it's not. He's, he's looking a little rough, but he's not bloody. Maybe that half You better hit that. Spirit bomb. Spirit bomb. <laughs> <laughs> uh-huh. Yeah. You? Uh-huh. Hit him. Hit him. Hit him. Fuck him up, Richard. Lightning bolt. Alright. So that's a deck save. Yeah. Come on, come on, come on. Oh! Hey, 
Oh. Poggies. Eight d six. And then he has a lightning resistance. <laughs> Wait, the lightning starts oh. fires. A thirty-three. The lightning starts fires. It's lightning like, bolt starts fires on a ship. So lightning is like ignites flammable objects in the area. Oh, well, the he is definitely bloodied now. We'll get to that okay. when we get. We'll, we'll we'll cross that bridge when we get there. Okay. Uh, it's Mira's turn. I don't need to breathe at him. I'm just gonna whack. Who's whack? I'm the limited. Please hit. Ow. I don't think that hit. It hit. That hits. For eight damage. For eight damage. It's still living. It's still up. And it's its turn? And it. No, it's already its turn. No, it's already its turn. Please kill it. Turn from there, I think. Very far to that way. Yeah, let's kill it. I mean, I already have advantage on attack with Halloween. I don't have it right now. But I can get it really easily. Okay, dum dum time. Dum dum time. Oh! That will hit. It is dead. With it. You run in, and with a quick, and with the quickest draw and swing of your sword, you swing upward and take its head off. One clean slice. Yeah, that's a horrible weapon. More impressively, the blade does not carry any blood on it. It is clean. Yeah, baby. The definition of a clean slice. Now. As far as the fire set, as far as the fire that lightning bolt sets, uh, you you want you sit there and watch the bush burn, the the heads burn for a little while, and the lightning bolt did cut through as cut through the this hedge back here as far as it would go. Uh -huh. and you can see a little hole there, and the fire the fire spreads and burns, but eventually is snuffed out, and almost just as quickly as it burned through. The hedge regrowed itself, sealing the hole. Huh. Watch that. Whoops. Well then, hallway down this way. This is an endless hallway too. No, this leads to another room, shall we? This place there be. This place there be. Hey, uh, I'm gonna use a. Uh, you can find this place there be. Try to close the door. Short rest. Yeah. Already? You have a lot of spells though. Oh, you're you're have a lot of oh, we can at least get one more fight before the rest. Um, and if we get another dad I can boost the amount of heal from the rest. Are you sure you want to be in the lead there, buddy? Mm. <laughs> Takes a second to sip healing potion. Two healing potions. Two healing potions. All right. Same as kind of nudging you forward. No potion. Just gentle love nudges. Thanks. So as Mir as Mir crosses the threshold into this space, I roll a perception check. Uh, a massive webbing strikes the wall next to you. Uh-oh. All right, bitch, let's oh. go. 